I want to say just a couple of words. I suspect that there are some people in this state or in this room who look at two popular Democratic incumbents and say, boy, you know, I don't know, that, uh, that Senate race and that House race, they're going to be pretty tough. Maybe they even throw around words like unbeatable. You know, I don't know about you guys, but when I start to think about uh, the political titans in our state's recent history, say the last 50 years, I come up with five names. Joe Foss, George McGovern, Tom Daschle, Bill Janklo, John Thune. Those were incredibly powerful individuals. One of those five gentlemen held elective office in this state every year for the last 50 years. But as powerful and as intimidating and as unbeatable as those gentlemen were, they all got beat in a statewide election here in South Dakota. And I would submit to you that if people with last names like Foss and McGovern and Daschle and Janklow and Thune are not unbeatable, then no one in this crazy political state of South Dakota can ever be called unbeatable. Now nobody's saying it's easy, and nobody's guaranteeing victory, but the first step is recruiting good candidates. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got some pretty good ones tonight. First up, a gentleman running for the United States Congress. He is a business leader. He is a community leader. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Lean. Well, thank you, Dusty. I appreciate that. I was... Uh, Thinking back when you were talking about your talent and how you can, your musical skills with your armpit, trying to figure out exactly where on that resume that you have that fits. <laughs> and if it's still on there. I want to thank everybody for the opportunity to be here. It is an honor, it truly is an honor. And my friend Pat Ellison had spoke about, you know, when you run it, it is kind of scary. It is kind of scary, but it's worth it. And I'm learning that as I travel the state and meet such great and wonderful people that have been so supportive and so energetic behind this campaign. And it is true that the Republican Party is made up of ordinary people. But I like to take exception with that a little bit because I believe that the Republican Party is made up of extraordinary people. They just make it look ordinary. And all of you that have worked so hard to make this come together tonight, Alan and Kathy, thank you for that. I appreciate it, and it truly is an honor to be here. 1972, campaigning for my father in a senatorial election in Leiden, Deadwood, South Dakota. I was seven years old. We were campaigning door to door, and I was carrying a box of leaflets. And I'd run up to a woman's door and knocked on it. And she opened it. And I said, hi, my name is Chris Lean, and my dad's running for the United States Senate. And I'd really appreciate it if I could have your vote and support for my dad. And she looked at me and said, Sonny, I wouldn't vote for your dad if he was the last person on earth. <laughs> I slammed the door in my face. Well, my seven sisters and one brother were canvassing the street with my mom. I had run down the stairs with my box of flyers, and I remember running across the street, and I tripped on the curb and skinned my knee, and my flyers and leaflets went all over the street. So I was picking up my leaflets and going through the process of putting them back in the box, and my mom came over and sat down next to me on the curb, and she put her arm around me, and I looked at her, and I said, Mom, why are we doing this? Why would Dad want to put himself out and do this? And she looked at me and said, because she believes in you, Chrissy. And she believes, or he believes in this country. And I asked her, well, it can't be easy for you. Why are you doing it? And she said, because I believe in him. And it was at that moment I knew that when I decided to run for public office, it wouldn't be merely because of the conviction of my father with the strength of my mother. Nine kids, and there you have it. That's the way our parents were with us. 
be accountable, make a difference, but most importantly, be an individual. And they taught us that as an individual, you truly can make a difference if you work hard. Whether it's one out of nine in my family, or one out of 435 in the United States House of Representatives, one individual truly can make a difference. By namesake, Christian Hansen Lean emigrated from Norway in 1880. And he settled in Summit, South Dakota. He owned the bank there. And in 1930, he went bankrupt during the Depression. But instead of leaving, he stayed. He stayed and worked manual labor until all of his depositors were paid off. Never compromise your principles. Never quit until the job is done. Never abandon those who have faith in you from the start. This is the discipline that I carry with me as I speak tonight. And this is the discipline I will take with me to Washington, D.C. as well. We are now five generations of a family in South Dakota who helped build things. Roads, bridges, schools, even churches. And it's a proud honor to be part of South Dakota. And it's a proud honor to run this campaign. And it's a proud honor to take a gift of conversations as I travel from one end of the state to the other. Albert Pine, an 1800 novelist, wrote, What we do for us dies with us. What we do for others is and remains immortal. My wife Julie and daughter Annie have made the sacrifice so that I might do something I care about so deeply, and that is making a contribution through public service. We hear a lot of talk about change. And I believe we do need change. We also need a change in direction as well. And to me, that change in direction is to have citizen legislators who will debate and dialogue for the sake of good legislation, not credit or headlines. Legislators who will listen in South Dakota and talk in Washington, D.C. Not listen in Washington, D.C. and come back and talk in South Dakota. Legislators who will think to the next generation, not merely the next election. And it is going to be an uphill battle. Dusty's right. But nothing ever worth it is easy. And as I'm standing next to the picture of Abraham Lincoln, and I've read extensively about his life, I share a little bit of his litany when I had the conversation with my wife, Julie. And she said, everyone's telling you the odds aren't that great. I don't think you should get in it because you have the best odds. I think you should get into it because you believe in it. And I'm asking all of you to invest in me. And if you invest in me, I promise as I travel the state and shake the hands and look in the eyes of all of you seeking the confidence of your vote, I will also look in the eyes of your children and grandchildren seeking the confidence of their future as well. My name is Chris Lee, and I'm running for United States House of Representatives. But most importantly, I am proud to be a Republican from South Dakota. Thank you.